run and we just generally want to develop our, our relationships and keep the links going. Um, you know, it's kind of to hear that the uh, New Zealand launch started you know, as a small group and it's now much, much larger, more functional. Um, as we go forward, the different issues which, um, which come up across the region and different issues which, which we bring up will be um, increasingly represented in the, in the agenda. So as we hear things on the mailing list, uh, those things will filter into the, the formal meeting agendas. And there's one, one more thing that I wanted to mention. You know, as much as we see um, a, a, a set of agenda items here, one of the things that we want to establish um, with this first meeting and get going more on the list is to hear from everyone uh, what are the things which are of important to you. Um, the, the, the participants from St. Martin would definitely want to have that feedback coming into the meeting and everyone who is, who is on the list um, as we reach out to, to our friends, uh, engineers, co-workers and so on, we want to bring the feedback from them and feed that into the process so that they now can, can develop uh, momentum and represent uh, the things which are truly of value to, to the community. Okay, so um, thank you and have a good week. First regional gathering taking place this week here at the Western Hotel in St. Martin. I want to open the floor for a few questions before we wrap up any questions. Yes, Gary. Yes, Baba. Um, I would just like to applaud the, 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 IT, the CTU sorry, <laughs> for um, such a bold initiative. But I, I'm a little concerned though. Um, we have you know, a lot of regional groups, a lot of regional study groups. For instance, we have the CTL, for instance. We have uh, ITU, other study groups in the region on very technical issues. And um, it seems to me that we try to develop something along the same sort of line where we discuss and we, and we bring to the fore uh, some of these technical issues. As a region, I find we don't participate in some of these things. So we have CTL. We have ITU study group three has a lot of um, you know working groups in the region, and we are called to attend and we don't participate. And um, my concern really is how do we get the participation? How do we get people to get involved? Um, how do we get governments to ensure that people attend you know some of these sessions? And to me, it's really a cultural thing, you know, to develop within the region and within you know our own communities. Um, and on our own um, region, um, the you know the the, the, the culture of, of participation of, of getting involved and really how do we how do we do that? So it's more to me of a cultural thing rather than you know um, of getting people to, to, to participate. And, and and how do we see you know the, the, the CTU? How do we how do we really um, create this and? I know it's not, it's not an easy question, but you know, we, we have to is, start somewhere. It yeah. is actually an easy question. Um, and let me just, just on a point of correction, the CC2 is one of the partner or supporting institutions um, behind Caribbean. It's not a CT initiative, it is a regional initiative. And that's, that's the starting point for my answer. Um, C2 has been um, very gracious in supporting Caribbean from its inception, as has Nick, as has ISOC, as has ARO. Um, and the reality is we've actually had more interest and more commitment of support from outside of the region where there is a, already a recognition of the value of groups like the Caribbean Network Operators Group. And um, we understand that that is a necessary part of our inception, a necessary part of how we, we get off the ground. But it is not going to sustain us. And, and Pablo asked a question that was very pertinent concerning sustainability. While it is, it is very good to have uh, to be integrated by the CTU and to be supported by um, some of the regional and extra regional organizations. Ultimately, the responsibility for uh, sustaining Caribbean as a viable initiative uh, rests with the region. It rests with the network operators. It rests with the technicians, those people who stand to benefit the most from having this kind of forum. And so a core part of the strategy It's not going to come from the governments. It's not going to be our sustainability. It's not going to rest upon Latinic or Arid or any of the other knobs around the, the, the world. It's going to rest with the sincerity of the interest within the region to take responsibility for their future.